Ooh, ooh, hello hyperspace, my name is Devontos and it's time to get heights because this is some sniping modern warfare remastered gameplay. That's why it's been a while since I uploaded some MWR, but in this video we're actually going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and if these rumors are true because everybody's saying it's going to be Call of Duty that plays out like Overwatch and a lot of people have different opinions about this. Some people like it, some people hate it, a lot of people are hoping for a Fortnite kind of Call of Duty, but if you actually remember quite a few videos back, I actually said that an Overwatch-like Call of Duty is a really good idea if they do it correctly. So, um, I didn't really touch on it on the last video, but that's what this video is for. We're actually going to cover it and say how COD can actually play out similar to Overwatch, but still play out very much like Call of Duty, because that's what it is. It's Call of Duty. If you want to play something that's like Overwatch, just go play Overwatch. That's kind of why I'm against Call of Duty being like Fortnite, because if you want to play Fortnite, just go play Fortnite and not this Call of Duty Battle Royale knockoff. It's the same thing with Paladins. You know, there were a lot of Overwatch knockoffs, like Paladins and so on. They just didn't succeed, because we know that Overwatch is the big dogs. We know Overwatch was the OG for hero shooters, so if you have another wannabe, you know, product, it's just not going to succeed as, as good as the original because everybody knows it's a knockoff. If you want to play a knockoff product, you're better off just playing the original Overwatch. Which is why Call of Duty Black Ops 4, if they're going with this Overwatch kind of playstyle, they cannot basically create Overwatch with Call of Duty skins. It cannot be a clone. They have to add Call of Duty aspects, and if they do it correctly, as I said, it would be a huge success, at least in my opinion. So. Let's actually get into this. Let's actually start off with these class sets. You can have Overwatch tanks, Overwatch healers, and all that stuff. And here's how I feel like they can they should actually go in this this direction. Let's actually use tanks, for example, right? You got tanks like Reinhardt, and you got tanks like, you know, Roadhog, Diva, and so on. And then what's the closest thing to a tank in Call of Duty? Talking about juggernauts. If you guys remember back in MW2 and MW3, there were juggernauts. Those guys were basically the tanks of Call of Duty. And they can actually implement it in multiplayer, but just not as exaggerated. So if you guys played Infinite Warfare or Black Ops 3, you guys are aware of the reactive armor, which is something that gives you, I think, twice as much health. And just think of it as you would always have reactive armor activated every time you picked a tank class. However, tank classes would only allow you to have access to LMGs, hence the word LMGs, large machine gun, you're supposed to be a tank. So... If you're always having this reactive armor activated, and you're always going to have an LMG, a way to force you to play like a tank, as Overwatch kind of forces you to play like a tank, is decrease your movement speed. This would actually force you to be a very slow lumbering guy, and it would force the, force the tank players to basically stay in one area, hold down the fort, and yeah, they're going to be a threat, but they're really easy to outrun. And it would play out very much like a, a Call of Duty campaign. So if you guys know you're playing Call of Duty campaigns, you guys have the enemies who's wielding LMGs and they stay up on windows, they mount that bipod and they start mowing everyone down, multiplayer would play out very much like that. You would be forced to stay in one area because you move so slow. However, you do have a ton of health, so you can kind of, you know, stay there for a lot longer than you usually would. And the Call of Duty players, they can build on that as, you know, building with the Overwatch, I mean, <laughs> building with the uh, Call of Duty weaponry was a key aspect in COD, which is why when they removed it from World War II, you know, you couldn't put your own attachments, we already gave you the attachments, it just wasn't a success, a lot of people hated it, so they can just bring it back, because Call of Duty is all about customizing your weapons and bringing that customized weapon to the battlefield. Do the same thing with this Overwatch aspect of Call of Duty. You have your MG, but what you can do, I don't know, maybe have your MG let out smoke grenades to cover the area so you can be easier for you to, you know, mow them down. Maybe have your LMG have extra ammo. Maybe you can have a suppressor, but, you know, weaker damage. And you can still customize your weapon, but even though you are customizing the weapon, you are still forced to play in that tanky kind of playstyle if they were to actually implement this in the new Black Ops 4. And let's actually cover, like, uh, shotgunners, right? Shotgunners are the guys who run around all over the place, you know, getting all in your face, getting all these kills, so they can actually bounce it out. They can basically make them the tracers of Call of Duty. I'm not talking about blinking all over the place, but they can actually give them increased movement speed. Like that old perk, Lightweight, some of you guys remember that? They can give you guys Lightweight, they can give you Marathon, and your Shotgun. And it would actually allow these Shotgunners to be forced to play by quickly moving around, 
And again, you can build around that class by maybe adding a suppressor on your shotguns. You can be a stealthy tracer. Or maybe adding a long barrel on your shotguns. You can be a tracer who's better at longer ranges. Either way, it would always force you to play that kind of tracer-like playstyle because if you're camping with a shotgun, you're not really using him as he's meant to be because if you're just camping there with the shotgun, I mean, let's face it, the juggernaut guy who's camping with the LMG would be much more effective. And... They can, they can implement a lot of these things into Call of Duty, and it could make it, you know, really, really fun, and it would still play out like a Call of Duty. Even snipers, like this gameplay right here, I'm sniping. Um, they can implement, um, what was that? It was that cloaking ability, right? It was, a uh, Phantom has it in Infinite Warfare as a payload, and I believe it was a secondary or a primary grenade in Advanced Warfare, and the sniper candidate, he can cloak, he can go invisible, position himself, and it would actually force these snipers to actually play a long-range defensive character or hero, and if they actually were to run around and do quick scoping, yeah, they can be effective, but you can implement other things into their kit that would force them to actually stay at longer ranges. Maybe not give them a secondary, or if they do have a secondary, maybe it's like a ridiculously weak pistol that they just have to use as a last resort. This would force the player to play as a sniper because they have that weak pistol which isn't really good for anything, or they want to risk that one quick scope shot and if they miss they're basically screwed, and just slow down the sniper's handling, that way they can't really quick scope at all. And then uh, for the healers, that's a big question. How are they going to implement healing in Call of Duty? Battlefield actually did it. So if you guys don't know, there was, I guess you can call it like a healing class in Battlefield, it was this guy who can actually toss health packs to your team for healing. And you can actually implement that in Call of Duty, granted you have to increase your character's health because everybody dies in like three shots, but still, if you do increase your player's health, it wouldn't actually change how the game is played, but you can actually give some guy dropping health packs, allowing him to be the healer, and he's the only guy who can be the healer, and granted, because he is the healer, let him have a gun that's okay in the battlefield, but not the best like submachine guns. They're pretty decent at close range, they're no shotgun, but they're pretty decent at close range, at medium range they're not the best, and they can't compete at long range. This would actually force them to stay with the team and stay in cover, but they can still defend themselves if they have to. Granted, if they're jumped on with a shotgun, submachine guns can't stand up to it, and then at medium ranges when they have to fight the uh, assault rifle gunners, they still can't stand up to it. They have like their own little comfort zone where they're okay in battle, but either way you look at it, they're just not the best. That's how they can implement the healing aspect in Call of Duty. You see where I'm getting? They, and they can still build around it. Have your submachine gun suppressed. That way when you're doing your healing, if you happen to get pounced on, you take out the enemy quietly and the other enemies won't hear it. And then with these, you know, you can have extended mags. Maybe you can have some smoke grenades so you can smoke the area and start tossing health packs to everybody. Still playing as a healer, but still being a very, very vulnerable opponent for other enemies who have specific playstyles to counter you, like the snipers. And finally, what about the killstreaks? What is Call of Duty without killstreaks? Well, how about making the killstreaks the ultimates? If you want to have a juggernaut, you having the MG, why doesn't he just put in that giant mecha suit that was in Advanced Warfare and let that be his ultimate juggernaut? You know, if you want to have a healer that tosses ultimates, let him spam ghost ballistic vests all over the place so you can basically have health from him and basically Torbjorn's armor so you can have basically a super armored up team. If you have a, a shotgunner and you want him to have his ultimate, give him Spectre's blink ability. You can use a set amount of blinks to blink forward to get to his destination much faster. Same thing with the snipers. If you want a sniper to have an ultimate, you can either give them same thing like Widowmaker, that X-ray vision, or to make it feel more military-ish, you guys remember that scout kill streak from Call of Duty Ghost where you guys get in the helicopter with a sniper rifle? Let that be the sniper's ultimate. However, enemies that he can't shoot with a sniper because he sees that they're hiding in cover, he can mark for his teammates basically marking them down for death, and you can control the helicopter, position the helicopter, allowing yourself to get easy kills, and you're still going to be a threat for the enemies because you're basically a flying sniper. This would be a perfect Call of Duty if they don't copy Overwatch. They just have to make their own version of Overwatch. 
And finally, the character customization. If you want to actually get into character customization, just let the players customize their own character. However, give them certain uniforms from a specific pool that they can take from if they want to, you know, choose from certain assets. Like the Juggernaut, for example, right? If you're going to be playing as a Juggernaut, you can choose between, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 different Juggernaut uniforms, but all of them are going to be bulky. This way, it would give you freedom to actually customize your character and how he looks and how his armor would look, but it would be easy for the enemies to identify as being you, you being as a juggernaut. It would give the player a ton of freedom, and it would still be very fun and easy for the enemies to identify and for your team to identify what your role is supposed to be. So, if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of my idea for an Overwatch-ish kind of Call of Duty. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan, and as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day!